Hey everyone, I thought I would do a video today on, and I would say it's a flip through, but they're not really in a book, they're in sheet protectors. But I took them out of the sheet protectors and I'm going to go through them one sheet at a time. There's been a lot of talk um, in the YouTube community with Barb Owens' new mandala cards that have come out. And um, other people have been posting it in Art Experiments and some other groups. So I thought I would add to the chorus of mandalas and show the ones that I've done. These were done in 2013. I took a class at Art and Soul in Virginia Beach as in Tangle class by Suzanne McNeil. And these are the results. So here is my first one. Let me bring it in just a tad. This is my first one. This one was done on 5-12-13. I guess this was pretty close to the date after the class. Um, I started by tracing a round object with pencil and then I think f I, I see a mark here like I was marking sections or something. I'm not really sure. I don't see them anywhere else around here but I must have tried to be, be marking and I think maybe it was so that I could center it, although it doesn't look very centered to me, but you know. Anyway, so this is my first one that I did. I enjoy making them, but sort of like after I make them, what do I do with them? I'm not going to tear them up. Too much work went into it to tear it up. Um, so I just put them in sheet protectors, and I've been saving them in the back of a notebook that I have for stuff I don't want to get rid of, but I don't know what else to do with. <laughs> here's the first one. All right, here's one on 513, like the next day. This one, this centerpiece, when I'm looking at it through the monitor of the, the camera, it reminds me of a sunflower, the, the seed type thing inside the sunflower, and there's the outside of the sunflower. I don't know why, it just reminds me of one. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. I just was on a binge. This one is on 514, which was the next day. I think this, this one is one of my favorite ones. I have three that I, I really especially like, and this is one of them. To me, it feels like it has a nice, soft flow to it. It's not like in-your-face sort of Zentangle stuff. It's not too boring. It's not too flashy. For me, it's just right. Like the shapes are opposites. You know, I have tubes, then a different kind, a tube in a different way set opposite. And then these are lots of little circles, and then these are lines. And so I think it balances the picture out. All right, so I was getting really brave. This one's on 514. I thought, oh, let me add color. So I added color. And the only thing I see when I look at this is a braided rag rug. It's not so much the star on the inside, because if you kind of cover that up, what is the, this reminds me of a braided rag rug. I don't know why, but it does. All right, this one's also on 514. Like, doing one a day wasn't enough. I'm going to do two a day now. This one makes me feel unsettled, because there's so much going on in here that it just is unsettling to my eye. Pointy things, pointy things, more pointy things. It's just like I'm all over the place with this. And we're going to give color a try again because the first time wasn't bad enough. Now we're going to try it a second time. And I don't care for this one either. I don't mind this in tangles, but I think my choice in colors was very poor. This one was done on the 19th of May, and this is one of my favorite ones also. Of the three, this is the second one. I like this one. For me, everything in here has really good flow, and it all fits very well. Not too much dark, not too, uh, just, amount, just the right amount of light. And I did do shading on all of these with a pencil. I really like this one. I don't know why, it just... It just seems kind of placid to my eye. It doesn't challenge me. doesn't make me feel prickly. I just like it. All right. And this one. 
It was on the 23rd. I have no explanation for this. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one. I think that I got very brave and just lost it. <laughs> these things, I like these, the, this entangle here. But I think I should have stayed in the circle with them and use them differently and not use so much of the little swirls here. For me, this is unsettling to my eye. I don't know where to look first. It's just there's too, it's too busy, too busy. And then this one is on the 25th. This one also to me is too busy, but in a different way. The center section here with these is too much. You can't. When I look at it in the monitor, I can't distinguish between where this ends and the other stuff begins. I see more of this and the outer ring. All I see is like black and white in the middle. You may see something differently or feel differently about them, but to me, this is an assault on my eyes. And now this one. See, first I go for, you know, can't explain it. The next one's it's visually assaulting my eyes, and this one is just... Well, why did I bother? There's nothing here. So this one was done on the 30th. And I think that, that the other one bothered my eye so much that I tried to tone it down, but then I got carried away with toning it down. There doesn't seem to be any distinguishing features in this. It's all kind of... Pfft. But the best thing about all of these is that I tried something, something I had never done before. I took a class, I learned something new, and I expanded my knowledge about mandalas. And then for some reason, I decided this was maybe not my thing, and I quit making them. I've never done another one since. I don't know why. Maybe it's time to renew my enthusiasm for mandalas. I just don't know. Okay, that was my little flip through as as it as it were for the mandalas that I created in 2013. See you guys later. Bye.